Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Hour with the AAR mod as Italy. We are here in 1938, that impotent year, uh, in which, in real history, Adolf Hitler really pushed his uh, foreign policy um, uh, into the uh, into maximum overdrive, pretty much. Um, pretty much the year in which Austria and the Sudetenland were pretty much annexed. But uh, we'll see what happens with this. But since Hitler is not in power, I'm not so sure how uh, how important this year is going to be. Could be just another year. All right. Uh, see, we got social conservative here in Hungary, though not quite, uh, well, not as authoritarian as it was before. I'm sure. And of course, Romania is still a uh, parental autocrat. Actually, paternal autocrat, are they? Have they been paternal autocrat? Because I don't remember. I don't think they have been. But Carlos II is in power. Or Carl II. My bad, not Carlos. What the hell am I saying? Carlos II. Alright, so, and Spain's still uh, embroiled in that civil war of theirs. Surprised Japan hasn't really engaged further into uh, to international China territory. Let's, I should take a look at this war real quick. Quite intrigued. All right, so the Republican captured the uh, the capital of uh, National Spain, and it looks like they might surround and destroy. Up, oh, nope, they just destroyed. <laughs> They're really putting their uh, bombers to good use in this in this conflict. I'm surprised they haven't uh, used this uh, unit to engage further, unless they're trying to move it up. Or, e hell, even this unit down there. I'm not sure they're trying to keep the partisans out or not. Oh, there we go. 1938. Japan has gone to war. Uh, let's see. I think this is the actual war itself. Yet the Marco Polo Bridge incident. Okay, there we go. So now we got two wars going on. We got the Spanish Civil War and we got the uh, the Sino-Japanese War. So one war in Asia, one war in Europe, or at least a minor war in Europe. And as you can see, there's uh, it's kind of cool seeing the differences uh, when it comes to the 1914 uh, situation. Peace in our time. Huh, yeah. No peace in our time. Shut up. Uh, but the, the kind of the war that went on in 1914 and then also the kind of the war that's going on now uh, in Spain. Quite interesting of a change of pace. And interestingly how they modded that. Or th then again, it's all the blueprints that you can research. So, it's not that much of a difference. Uh, all, the, uh, all the tech that you can gather up. It looks like I'm running low on supplies, too. That's not good. Are we still trading supplies? Is that what we're still doing? Uh, huh. rare resources from Germany there. Hmm. Alright. So Burgos is back with National Spain now and they lost it again. Again. And the capital has been moved over here which means that the they're kind of That only means that Spain, uh, the nationalist government is cut off from supply. So, it looks like they're going to wipe out the uh, nationalist forces in Guadalajara, as they did. The Soviet, oh, look at that. The Soviet Union finally annexes the, wow. 
Really? That is interesting. So the Red Army finally decided to attack St. Petersburg. And it completely wipe out the uh, remaining white forces there. Which means now the Soviets are now the uh, the true successor to the Tsar Nicholas II. Interesting. Okay. What was that? Oh, that's right. Spain. Uh, now here's the victory points needed. As you can see, almost every province is considered a victory point in Spain. Uh, I guess that kind of increased the challenge, maybe? And that's pretty much spazzing out. Alright, uh, let's go. Let's actually check out. Take a look over here. I'm not so sure if the Japanese can actually pull it out. Uh, pull a victory here. Uh, looks like the national forces do have a quite a bit of a n numbers gain on uh, Japan and its puppet uh, of Manchuria. So I'm not too sure if that's going to work out in, their, in Japanese favor. Alright, see, looks like it's just a mopping up of uh, enemy forces there in Spain. And it looks like the Re Republican government might actually pull a victory out there. Alright, right, so someone's not in power at all, so that's uh, interesting. It looks like they might become even more democratic after all. Let me actually check a move a little bit more towards intervention now. Uh, kind of make a symbolic um, move and kind of make it helpful for me uh, to remember. It's actually on the first of the of next year to I can change it. Um, so let's recap here. Since it's been all 1939, not much has been going on. Uh, ooh. Damn, I should have been paying attention to that. Sure. All right. Let me actually do something about that. Uh, actually, let me just temporarily temporarily boost it. I need resources. Give me all your energy. I'll give you some money. I'll give you a little bit of money. There you go. Alright, so I got that temporarily fixed. I just, okay, so that's all I need. Uh, let's get maybe just three. Yeah, let's get three out of them. There we go. Alright, so in the next video, uh, we'll probably see the Republican government of Spain take out uh, the nationalist rebels, the nationalist rebels, and then also see see what's going on with uh, Japan here uh, and their attempt to take out nationalist China. I don't think that was smart. Let me let's actually do something. Let's look at this real quick. Yeah, 125 to 92 forces. I'm not too sure if uh, Japan can pull it out, but they do have more infantry than uh, the nationalists do. And, of course, the nationalists have a lot more militia than Japan. And militia, uh, I guess, would it be too bad? I don't know. It, it, it's, it, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see what happens. So, uh, and I, I'm not seeing any war in, on my part uh, coming up anytime soon either, so I'm not too worried. It looks like uh, Egypt is an actually an independent nation now, not a puppet. Alright, anyway, enough of that. Enough of bodily gagging. Alright, so in next video, we'll go through 1939 and see what happens. Until then, so I will see you in 1939. Yeah, yeah.